Good morning, so today is our shipment day, 14th of November, so the fish are now, the guys are at the airport collecting the fish. We will then bring them back here, we'll release them, we'll get some videos for you later on. They will then start their 12 to 16 week quarantine, which will finish around March time, ready for people to start collecting their fish in April. All the fish are now hopefully on the website, so uh, please take a look at this video and see what happens when the fish come in. We have a stunning bowl of uh, Kawakami Goshki. Uh, so these are all new size, all two year old. Again, we got first uh, selection of the harvest when it was just coming in. So you've got some beautiful like Kuro type Goshki here. So again, with like the, like the real like the Benny that sits on top of the black Kuro skin. And it's female. We've also got some uh, real stunning like lights for the, uh, the Kimmin Goshkis here. And then we have like the lighter type, so the more modern style. And again, with the floating Benny. I don't know if you can see in this light, but the uh, Benny sits above the grey skin very well. But then in our experience, the, the grey skin continues to go darker. So these are only two year old, these fish, and they develop a, like a heck of a lot up until they get to about four to five years old. But they have real nice frames on these fish. A real stunning bowl of goshki, these ones. Jim and Joshi, beautiful red pattern. This is for my Aki Masaki. Um, one's that we've grown on in the past. Uh, this grey skin okay, it goes up and jet black kind of colour. They become very striking. And the majority of these fish are female, uh, they're all two year old. This is a natural dark and more developed one now, but this will go like natural jet black. They have like a floating belly, so they're very striking fish. These are the Asagis, these are all Nisai two year old. They've got a nice uh, level of uh, Benny on the bellies. But see, as they get older, the Benny like, continues to grow up the fish. So around two year old, we just follow half and that's on the line is a, a nice and that. These are two year old Shoa from our Kasai Koi farm. So he uses Sekaguchi and uh, Dainichi, our parents, for this fish. Also, an unusual variety. You can then pull the thumbs of both the feet up. Uh, see these Takahashi uh, fish again. So, uh, on this particular pond, we have taken the first half harvest. Oh, it's really apparent with some really stunning fish in this, this pond. Some really striking showers, Ginwin showers. 
Lovely Deutsch Kahakus, Deutsch Sankeys. Really a stunning mix throughout, really. Lovely Hatchiwari patterns on the head. A few fish with that similar kind of pattern. Striking birds to put a there. So this is uh, from the same dish from Sugiro. Uh, these are Saki, Sakai Hiroshima pairing fish. It's a beautiful, it's a two-year-old example, so I think that's 54 centimetres. It's a lovely two-year-old size. And then he's striking for Jacku. Strikes for Jacku also in here. Sugiro show again. That's the underlying to me. Hardest varieties to get hold of a tank show for Jacku. Considering these fish have been in the bag for about 30 hours plus, uh, the condition is remarkable, very good. It just shows obviously they are packed very well, so the right amount of water in the amount of fish per bag. Garnier Chiba. So these are the uh, Marudo uh, Nisai Kahaku. Beautiful examples, again they're all female. That one there. That one there. This is uh, Hoshkin, again two year old. Looking like the volume in here, but quite right above the head. More stunning examples. This is Marudo. This is uh, Hoshkin, the Sai Shoa. And then lots of undeveloped Suvion throughout on that one. Here. A beautiful cargo suiting on the shoulder. Some really exciting prospects to grow on. Good morning. So this is the 15th of November, the day after the shipment. So these fish spent approximately 35 hours in the bag yesterday. They were released yesterday evening. So they're now 12 hours out of the bag. Just show you the condition we expect the fish to be in next day. We've just turned the pumps off. You can see they're all up, 
healthy, active, they're about 15 degrees, we won't start heating for a few days yet to start a heat cycle. So just to explain what we do when the fish come in the country, uh, this is the number one regulated CFAS quarantine facility in the UK. We have nine fish houses, all have the top grade rating, we also have Reg 23 status. So basically when the fish come in, they're fully biosecure, the fish are uh, triple heat cycle, and then if during that time they're scraped for parasites, checked for bacteria, etc. The fish are held for a minimum of 12 weeks. During the winter period, that often stretches to 16. So this shipment that's arrived in November won't be available to go to customers' houses until April. So during the quarantine period, all these fish houses are kept under lock and key. Uh, only Ben, James and myself enter the fish houses and monitor the fish. This is done usually around three times a day at least. Uh, everything is recorded so we can see what's happening. When the scrapes are taken, the heat is brought up and down. Our heat cycles involve between 10 and 17 days, depending on the cycle of heat, and seven days according in between. We also have a period of about five to six days where the fish go up and down in temperature, hence why it takes 12 to 16 weeks. Uh, obviously during this period of time the salt is reduced in the pond, parasite treatments are undertaken. Very rarely we need to do bacterial problems because each system, like this one here for instance, this has just got no loose coil in this pond. So there's no fish from any other farm, it's totally biosecure. So because you don't have the mixing, you don't generally get the parasite and bacterial problems. When we get to after the third cycle, we then start to mix the fish up. And during this process, the fish get used to each other's bacteria. And we always do this at least a month before the customers take fish.